In this video, we are going to learn about linear differential equation. It is also known as Leibniz equation. Why we are learning that? In order to find solution. Solution of differential equation. Precisely saying solution of linear differential equation. So how can we say that an equation is a linear differential equation? There are two conditions. First condition is that the degree should be equal to 1. In the first video, we, I have discussed about how to find order and degree. Okay, just watch that video. I will say one more time. If this is the differential equation dy by dx, in this equation, the degree it is order it is 1. Okay, this is the first order equation. Then what is degree? Degree is the power of that derivative. In at this case, here also degree is also 1. Suppose this is my differential equation. Okay, now what is the order? Order it is 2. Degree is the power of derivative. Power is 1. So degree is 1. Now for this equation, d square y by dx, the all square. What is the order of this equation? Order is 2 and degree is the power of derivative. So degree is also 2. Okay. So linear differential equation, the degree should be equal to 1. So this is our differential equation. Here degree is 1. Now the second condition. There are two variables, y and x. y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. x is not depending on anything, but y is depending on x. Okay, that dependent variable, dependent variable is y. In the equation, that dependent variable should not be in a product form. That means if y multiplied by y, it is in a product form. It should not be like that. y cube, they are all multiplications. So it should not be like that. Then y multiplied by sine y. See, here two terms are there and the variable is a dependent variable. So it should not be in that form also. y multiplied by e raised to y. Two terms are there. The variable is dependent variable. So it should not be like that also. If it is like this, y multiplied by x, then y multiplied by sin x. Here, variables are different. Okay. At that time, we can say it is a linear differential equation. If in an equation, anywhere in the equation, if the dependent variable is in a product form, then we can't say that that equation in a linear differential equation. Now, in this equation, first condition is check the degree. Degree, it is 1. Now, the dependent variable, it is y and independent variable, it is x. And here, we can see it is in a product form, but the variables are different. y multiplied by 1 by x. The variables are different. So this is a linear differential equation. Now in order to find solution of linear differential equation, the linear differential equation have a general form. What is the general form? General form of linear differential equation is dy by dx plus py equal to q. So from this equation, we need to find integrating factor. How to find that? The equation of integrating factor it is e raised to integral p dx. So what is p? In this equation, the coefficient near dependent variable is p. Okay. So in our question, the coefficient near dependent variable is 1 by x. Therefore, integrating factor will be equal to e raised to integral. What is our p? In our question, p is y multiplied by 1 by x. The coefficient near y it is 1 by x. So p is p is the coefficient near our dependent variable. Here the coefficient near dependent variable is 1 by x. So p is 1 by x. So e raised to integral p. P is 1 by x dx. Now integrate 1 by x. What is integral 1 by x dx? It is log x. Okay. So instead of integral 1 by x dx, we can write log x. So I'm going to write instead of one integral 1 by x dx, I'm going to write log x. Now listen carefully. e raised to log x is x. That is a standard formula. e raised to log x is always equal to x. So we found integrating factor. Now general formula for finding solution. How to find solution? Listen carefully, okay? The general formula is y multiplied by integrating factor equal to integral of q multiplied by integrating factor dx plus c. This is the general formula for finding solution. Now, we can compare our equation and substitute it. y, okay, y we can write like that itself, then integrating factor. We found integrating factor it is x. So, x then put equal to then integral q. Q is the term after equal to sign. After equal to sign, in our question, it is x. Then again, multiply by integrating factor. Integrating factor, it is x. Then dx plus c. So x into x, it will be x square. Now, what is integral x square? Integral x raised to n, it is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So x square, it will be x raised to 2 plus 1, it is 3. n plus 1, again 2 plus 1, it is 3. So x cube by 3. So we can write y multiplied by x. Integral x square dx, instead of that, we can write x cube by 3 plus c. Now try to write the solution always in terms of y. Okay, y equal to, now what we will do, we will move this x to this side, then it will become x cube divided by 3x. So this x and cube will be cancelled and we will get x square plus c divided by 
x. So this is the solution of linear differential equation. So solution means what? Suppose if someone is coming and telling me that at x equal to 2, find the value of dependent variable. Y is a dependent variable, y is depending on x. Okay, so when x equal to 2, someone is asking me to find the value of y. So from this equation we can, can we find? No, because there is a constant c. So if in the question an initial condition is given, it is used to find the value of c. Okay, so what is the initial condition given? y of 1 equal to 1. What do you mean by that? At x equal to 1, our value of y will be equal to 1. Okay, if y of 2 equal to 1 means at x equal to 2, value of y will be equal to 1. Okay, the bracket, inside bracket, it is the value of x. So at x equal to 1, our value of y is also 1. That is the initial condition given. So at x equal to 1, our value of y will be 1. Now substitute that in this equation. So the value of y it is 1 at x equal to 1. So 1 square it is 1 itself. So 1 by 3 plus c by x it is 1. Okay, now we can find from this equation we can find c equal to 1. Then this 1 by 3 going to that side it will become minus 1 by 3. So 3 minus 1 it is 2 by 3. So our value of c it is 2 by 3. Now substitute this here. Now we got the value of y it is x square by 3 plus instead of c we can substitute 2 by 3. Then the remaining x. So this is the final solution of our linear differential equation. Now if someone is coming and telling me that at x equal to find the value of y. Can I do that? Of course I can do it. Substitute instead of x write 2. Then I will get a value of y. Then someone is telling me find the value of y when x equal to 3. I can do that. Substitute instead of x. Substitute and find the value of y. So this is what we call as solution. Always write in terms of y. Okay, y equal to. In that form you need to write.